Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today I'm going to be showing you a car duplication glitch in GTA Online. So if you're a little bit stuck for cash in GTA Online, um, I'm going to be showing you how you can duplicate your cars in GTA Online and sell them for some extra money. So you can see here in my garage, I've got um, a few Arena War Issies lined up. Um, so once you've duped a load of these cars, make sure you're not selling loads of them straight away. Just sell one every hour so you don't hit the daily sell limit. Now before we get into the glitch, um, you will need a few things uh, to do this glitch. Firstly, you will need um, an Arena War garage, and you'll need to upgrade the Arena War ISSI, which you can see here. Uh, you want to slap on all the most expensive upgrades so you can sell it for the most amount of money. Um, so you can see that I've got that behind me here. It doesn't look very nice, um, but it does sell for 1.9 million. Um, so you get quite a lot of money from doing this glitch. The second thing you'll need is a auto shop and you'll need to have your auto shop full of cars. So that can be your own personal vehicles. Um, it can be an elegy uh, uh, full of free elegies um, or it can be full of just cars you drive in from the street. But you need to have a full auto shop. Next, you will need to have an MOC with a personal vehicle storage in Bay 3. And obviously, to buy the MOC, you'll also need to have the bunker to store it in. So there is a little bit of a setup cost for this, uh, but once you get the glitch going, you'll easily be able to cover the costs for it. Um, as I said, you can sell one of these minis for about 1.9 million. So you sell a few of these and you'll already have covered the cost. So I have got um, a garage here with some free elegies um, in. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and drive one of the elegies out. Uh, and I'm going to drive this over to my um, auto shop now. All right, so here we are over at the auto shop. And I've also parked my mobile operation center over here. So what you want to do, just drive the free elegy into your MOC and store it in there. And then just give it a second to load. And then you just literally want to straight away drive the elegy back out. And then you just want to drive a little bit away from your mobile operation center just there. And blow up the elegy. So I'm just going to chuck a grenade there and immediately start calling Lester. Because where my um, auto shop is, it's right next to the police station. So I get cops when I blow it up. Um, and you just want to remove your wanted level. If you don't get wanted, you don't need to do that step. But because um, mine's right next to the police station, I get wanted every time. Uh, but from here, you just want to go ahead and call your mechanic. And you want to call out your um, elegy. Uh, sorry, not your elegy, your issy. Uh, so I'm going to call out my issy here. And it will just take a moment to, uh, to load uh, or for it to, to come to be delivered to you. So there we go, the ISSI has been delivered. Make sure you're calling in the right one as well. So if you have an Arena War ISSI, make sure it's the upgraded one that you're gonna do the glitch with. And then what you wanna do is just drive up to your auto shop garage like this, and you'll see, um, because you filled it up with free allergies, it will say that your garage is full. You just want to press B and immediately start reversing your vehicle away from the door. If you've done it at that point, it's correct. If it pops up with that notification again, then you just need to press B, reverse, and try that one step again. Then you just want to drive up to the MOC here, and it should just automatically pull you into the MOC. You don't need to press anything. Just drive up to the MOC, and your car should just go straight into it. So from this stage, you're going to be stuck on a black loading screen. Now, if you're on PlayStation, you want to hit the PlayStation button and then press it again. If you're on Xbox, press the Xbox button, press it again, and then you should be loaded into the MOC. 
From this step, just open up the doors of the ISI like this. Uh, and at this point, I should mention as well, you need to do the scuba suit glitch, uh, which uh, for those of you who have seen it before, will see that my character has that already. If you don't know what the scuba suit glitch is, you can just watch another YouTube tutorial. There'll be loads of them out there. It's very simple to do. Um, then you just want to turn your back to the door like this, go into your CEO management and into the style section and just start dropping scuba tanks like this. So I'm sure you will have seen this uh, scuba suit glitch before, but basically it allows you to drop scuba tanks like this um, and you can just continue doing that. And basically what you want to aim for here is to try and block up the door of the ISI so that when you uh, go to get in the ISI, instead of um, your character opening the door and doing the animation, it will actually just teleport you straight into the ISI. So you want to block both sides up. Um, this does take a little bit of time. This is what's going to take the most time. And make sure you block it up very well. Because if you, if you mess this bit up, then you're going to have to do the whole... Um, scuba suit bit again like you're gonna to have to block the doors up again you don't have to do the whole glitch again um but you are gonna to have to do this whole bit again so as long as the doors are you know pretty well covered with scuba suits like that that should be fine then you want to walk over to the door and at this point you want to press y and a if you're on xbox or triangle and x at the same time and you can see there that the character quickly teleported into the ISI, but also you left the mobile operation center. If you leave the mobile operation center in the ISI like this, you've done it correctly. Then all you've got to do, drive into the MOC again, press right on the D-pad, and that is just purely to save your duplicated version. So that is your duplicated mini in there. From this stage, you can do whatever you want with the mini. So I'm going to drive it out and store it in the garage you saw at the start of the video and I'm going to go and get another free elegy and do the whole glitch again uh, but alternatively you can go ahead and sell this mini now I keep calling it a mini I should call it the issy um, but you can do whatever you like you can keep this vehicle you can do another glitch and give this to one of your friends uh, you can sell it for money which is the main reason I'm sure most of you are doing this glitch um, or, yeah, you can do whatever you like with it. Um, but I'm going to go and store it in here. And then in an hour, I will go and sell this car and get some money back from it. So that is the glitch. It's very simple. It only takes about five minutes to do. Um, I've done, I filled up multiple 10 car garages with this. The best thing I can suggest to do this glitch effectively is just set up a 10 car garage like this with free allergies. And just keep banging out the glitch. Um, it'll probably take you about an hour to do a 10 car garage full. So it's not too time consuming. And then you can sell all these cars. You'll get about 16 million altogether. So that's pretty decent. Um, it's a lot better than you know banging out the Cayo Perico over and over again. Um, but that is the glitch. Hopefully you found this video useful. I don't really do many of these glitch videos, um, but I had a few requests from friends to make this video. So hopefully you did find it useful. It'd be awesome if you could smash a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one.